What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you how to protect your exotic cowboy boots from water and you could say stains, right? So basically these are two repellents I use for my exotic boots. Um, this is the Scout and the Angelus. This is both of them I use. So today I'm going to spray both of these. And it's not gonna, you know, save them from you jumping inside a lake or the ocean or anything like that. But it is gonna protect them. Say you're drinking a beer or something like that. It's gonna just repel the actual liquid off of them. And then also say you're, you know, say you go out for dinner or something like that and it starts raining out there. It'll protect your boots from, you know, from your restaurant to the car, stuff like that. Nothing crazy, but it does help it, all right? So today I have both of these available. I'm sure there's other, um, you know, cleaner, I mean, sorry, repellents. Uh, this is the one I use for my exotic cowboy boots and it works fairly well. Uh, today I'll spray both of these so you can see how they look and feel. So what you wanna do is make sure the boots are already clean and conditioned, dried up for like an hour or so. There's no extra exotic skin cleaner on there or anything like that, all right? And what you're gonna do is put a thin coat over the actual boots. Kinda like just a nice layer of protection. You're just making a coat over the boots. And you can spray the top if you like. You're just making a nice layer on top. All right. You guys can see, but that's what I'm doing. You're just making a nice layer on top. All right. I did it with these boots because you would think I'll change the color, uh, but it doesn't. You can use this for any exotic boots. So you can see I already did a layer on there. Let me do this other one here. And then we'll test it out with the water bottle. You want to be six to eight inches away. And what you do is just spray a layer on top of there, right? You kind of see the layer on there. Kind of gives it that extra thin coat on top. And I'm sure you could do the top as well. It's just leather, so it's up to you. I normally don't. I just do the bottom, but you could do that. And what you're doing is just creating a nice layer on top. And if you want to double protect it, you obviously can. You just got to let it sit and dry for about an hour or so, a little bit more, and then run another layer. All right. So now we'll let it sit. As you can see, everything looks good. We'll let it sit maybe for five, 10 minutes. And then we'll try the, the water test. All right. So we're going to test this water out on here. Let me get you guys closer here. So you guys can really see. All right, so I'm gonna drop some water on here. Hope you guys can see there. So you see how it doesn't go in the skin. Pretty cool. See, it doesn't go in there. Protects it, and it can just wipe it off. As you can see, a little bit of bubbles on there, but it doesn't go penetrate through the actual skin. All right, so let's do this one here too. Boom, you guys can see. Pouring it on there. So it works really good. You can see that. It protects it really good. And I noticed it doesn't change the color on the actual uh, skins. So I strongly recommend either or. This one just says for boots. That's the only difference. And this one doesn't, it says for everything pretty much. All right, and I would test it on a little section, but you should be good since it's kind of like a clear coat on top. All right, so as you can see, it just kind of repels the water on there. It's cool. All right, if you have any questions, let me know on the comments below. See ya.